Hello, hello, this is Minecraylix here, and I'm bringing you another world tour. Today, I'm doing a world tour of my Skyblock map. As you can recall, I have actually made a Let's Play on this topic, but I stopped making Let's Plays due to the fact that nobody was watching much of my Let's Plays. Uh, but because of the fact somebody posted... Somebody made a request for me to continue the Skyblock series. I decided to start out with just a simple, um, with just a simple world tour. And from the last Let's Play, um, which was probably episode two, as I can recall, a lot of things have changed. And I, to be honest, I have not been playing this map for a long time. I have actually been. Uh, I stopped playing Minecraft for a very long time, which kind of makes me sad because um, I really like, personally, very like the game. And basically, I have made so many achievements and progress in this Skyblock map that I don't even know where to start with. So first off, this is my um, this is my j cobblestone generator. Let me organize this a bit here. Um, so what I did to my cobblestone generator is I basically put up uh, this little... Um, I, like, leveled the... Uh, because as you can remember, as my viewers should remember, I have a bedrock underneath here, which is basically this bedrock down here. It symbolizes the center of the map because that's the center of the whole Skyblock Island. The original Skyblock Island is all here, and this is my uh, first crafting table, I think. This is basically where I store all my stuff. Um, so I reshaped the cobblestone generator to make it so that I could hold down, and so I could hold down on my mouse, and so I could basically put a weight on my mouse and I could generate as much cobblestone as I want to. I also covered the water and the lava as not to fall into it. Um, I also um, created a nether portal. What I did with a nether portal is I actually, I kind of cheated, well, if, if you call that cheating, because since, as you can see, I'm playing in 1.8.9 right now, um, there used to be a glitch that works in 1.5, and I think it stopped working around 1.6. It's uh, basically when you take a uh, trip, where you take trip wire hooks, and then you put redstone or string, and then when you need only one lava source to create one obsidian, so, oh, no, no, you can create basically a limitless amount of obsidian from just one lava source. So instead of that, I just got a trip wire hook, I created two trip wire hooks, and if you're wondering how I create a tripwire hook, um, because since the crafting recipe requires iron and wood, I simply collected some iron from uh, rare zombie drops, because some zombies spawn with armor, and I just simply killed them, and I got quite a lot of um, iron with it. So that's how I create a tripwire hook, and I don't know exactly where since I lost it, and yes, you can see all of these armor, all of this armor is from my fellow skeletons and zombies. These saddles are from raiding, um, raiding nether fortresses, which I will show later. And it took me forever to find a nether fortress. It was, uh, it was very, very difficult for me to find a nether fortress. I don't know why, but I had to stack wool. Since I have so much string, I crafted wool, and I had to stack wool um, pillars to know where to go. And I even... Um, um, and I even have all of these, as you can see, all of these um, fire resistant potions, therefore the nether. Uh, water breathing is just I created it because uh, I fished uh, for a puffer fish. Um, all of these potions of swiftness, whenever I need to get to the nether fortress, I take a potion of swiftness and I run because that's how far away it is. Um, here's my nether brew, uh, here's my brewing stand, right here is for filling up bottles of water. Uh, and if you're wondering how I get bottle, how I get these um, bottles, glass bottles, is it's from witches because um, sometimes witches drop here. Uh, I think in the beginning you saw some witches drop right here, um, and that's what I do is I come in and I kill them. Um, now this diamond sword is. Uh, where I got it is I got it from villagers, and probably the biggest achievement 
right here is curing zombie villagers, which I will be discussing this whole down there thing. It's all only for villagers. Uh, and basically, now I do not know why I have a sheep there. Um, now, basically, what I did uh, to get a zombie villager is I created this kind of enclosement, and then I would mine out, I would create a little, um, this is also what this is for. I created a little, um, I created a little platform down here, and then I mined out the, um, cobblestone, and then there was just a huge amount of mobs. It was so epic. I really wish I had filmed that. It was very, very fun. But now that I already started, maybe I could make another skyblock world where I can make a let's play and I will always film here. But this I have been playing a lot of many times not on camera. Um, nevertheless, so what I did is I simply mined out the cobblestone there and the zombies came in and all of the other mobs. And whenever I saw a zombie villager, what I would do is I would basically like fence it in like I fence the sheep in using... Uh, cobblestone and it would kill off all of the other mobs and then I would cure the zombie villager. Um, now if you're wondering how a zombie villager is cured is you need uh, uh, a golden apple and a potion of weakness. So you can see right here is um, uh, Oh, I actually, oh yes, there we go, uh, splash, I needed a splash potion of weakness which I brewed using um, nether wart and uh, I think spider eye, I'm not sure, but to create it into a splash potion I added some gunpowder in. Uh, what is really epic is getting these gas tears. I don't remember how I got them, but it was extremely epic. Um, so I got, um, the way how I got gold is I got gold as a rare drop from zombies. Oh, oh yeah, and you, as you can see there's some witches here that can probably get us some Maybe some glowstone, or maybe some bottles, glass bottles. Um, uh, yeah. So, you can see all this glowstone dust, and all of my redstone is from witches. And I don't have much redstone, which is kind of, kind of unfortunate, because redstone is great for making these, uh, potion of swiftness, uh, last longer. Uh, as you can see, I have some redstone contraptions here. This is not... A uh, very great redstone contraption. It just uh, it just starts shooting arrows at any mobs that don't die, and that I set it up there just to shoot the mobs. If there was too much mobs there, that would just take care of them. I also have some redstone here, which is basically I fill up these um, all of these dispensers with bone meal, uh, which is um, I looks like I need to refill some of them. But right now I don't have any shortage in food. Uh, what I use food most often for is though for breeding villagers, which is still something in development. Uh, and, oh, I don't know, I have pumpkin seeds, I think I got that as a rare drop maybe. Um, or maybe I accidentally took out some. Um, so, as you can see, I have uh, potatoes and carrots, that's also a rare drop from zombies. When these zombies without armor die, I just kill them. And one thing I forgot to add is I, if I need rare drops, I just go up here, I create a platform here, and I just manually kill off all the zombies. And that yields me quite a bit of iron. If I sit here for about 15 minutes killing off zombies, then it's going to yield me about one iron every 15 minutes or so. Uh, I think I might have iron here, I'm not sure, let's see. Oh yes, and all of these discs are all of these discs there from... Um, they're from the rare drops as well, and I have, when I was raiding a um, nether fortress, I found one diamond, and guess what I used the one diamond for is for this handy dandy record player. So now I can listen to discs while mining cobblestone, which is definitely something very, very fun. And of course this 11 disc, which everyone starts making conspiracy theories about. Um, so, it's, uh, I, I very like my world, it's much better compared to something. And here, some of you may know what this is, and I say sorry in advance, and probably some of you were wondering why there's so much powered rail here. Well, the thing is, is I actually cheated, and I made this contraption to duplicate powered rail. Right here, as you can see, I can turn this on, it's gonna make a bunch of noise, and then when I press this, it duplicates the rail. Um, it's basically a rail duplicator. 
uh, well, powered rail duplicator. These rails right here, I actually had to craft them from iron, and I had to spend a long, long time killing zombies to get all of these regular rail. But all of this powered rail, it's, it's just all glitched out from the duplicator. I decided to use this duplicator because I... It's way too hard to transport um, villagers without minecarts, and I thought that since they did not remove this feature in 1.8, I could take advantage of it before it gets patched. Um, now right here's all my um, chests for all my loot. Right here's rare drops and rotten flesh. I don't have any rare drops anymore because I have... Um, I mainly set all of my rare drops in here for potion brewing and in all of these other chests for armor and stuff. Uh, now, let me eat some. Looks like I can't run around anymore. I definitely do not have any shortage of food because of this contraption here, which I already explained. Uh, maybe I should make a demonstration, so um, I just turn this on. It's a redstone clock timer. And then I just go like this and then it instantly makes it and then just break it and then just repeat it and that's how I make all of my food uh, for that's pretty annoying uh, that's how I make all of my food for uh, for breeding my villagers and for uh, and for purposes for myself and oh look seems like our sugar cane has grown Sorry for the gap there in talking, guys. I had to cough, turned off my mic for a while there. Um, yeah, so... Basically, this is my main chest where I put in all of my farmable things. Uh, and actually, it looks like I am kind of low on wood right now, so I would co go and... Let's see, I have about a stack of saplings here. This is my wood farm. It's not very industrialized because it only has four squares, but I don't really need much more than that. The main reason why I need um, wood is for making pickaxes uh, and for fuel for furnaces so I can um, bake these potatoes that I eat because apparently baked potatoes is my favorite snack in Minecraft. Uh, and would you look at that? I just realized that I got a gold nugget from somewhere. Yeah, I think I have gold right here. I spent all of my gold on making gold apples to, um, to, um, breed the villagers. No, no, not to breed, but to cure a zombie villager. So, basically, um, some things that I haven't shown yet is right here is my room for excessive storage. Right here is basically my go-to place that if I need string or bone meal or whatever it is or um, or bones, I just go in there. But right here is my extended storage. And I have so much gunpowder that I even start throwing it off the map. What I sometimes do though with uh, the gunpowder is I create fireworks, Is but that's later. I make... I uh, make, I just basically, I like to make fireworks in Minecraft, and if somebody doesn't know how to make that, let me demonstrate. I just take, for example, one cacti, well, never mind that, I already have it. Uh, right here's my chest for all wool types, and one challenge that I set across myself is to create all of the possible colors, and this is my... Um, basically wall of honor. Uh, it took me a very long time to create these. Uh, most of these I created from flowers by bone mealing the grass over here, such as uh, red from the daisies and uh, yellow from the other flower that I forgot the name of. Um, um, and these are just different shades of gray. Uh, I also have black. And most of these up there, such as lapis lazuli, it's from villager trades. Um, because everybody knows that lapis lazuli is a mined resource, and obviously we do not have anything to mine on Skyblock. Mm, because we're in the middle of the void here. So I just bought the lapis lazuli from the villagers over there. Um, and if you're wondering why I have slime blocks, is I created this... Oh, yeah, and here's my nether wart farm, which is pretty close to my... Oh yeah, and right here's my extension chest for my potion chest. Um, because I have my nether wart farm right here, because that's, it needs to be right next to my brewing station here. I'm not really sure where I need to put this nether wart, um, I'll just put it here for now. Um, so basically, um, 
so basically right here I have it this took me a very very long time to find but using um, using files and third-party sites I managed to find a slime chunk so basically what I did is I found a slime chunk and as you can see there's a big big platform it's kinda getting boring so I'm just gonna jump down here and I have lost my stuff many many times by jumping down here it's pretty fun to bounce but I have lost uh, a very expensive sword one time right here's my slime block farm which I have encased inside this double wall so the big slimes don't get out I also put all these torches here just in case so mobs don't spawn and slimes can spawn at any light level so um, I, I think that they they won't spawn if there's too much torches they need at least something uh, at least free block space so I spaced out the torches and big slimes do spawn here occasionally but not very often I don't really need slime the only reason I uh, got this slime farm is to make sticky pistons for my glitch uh, rail maker is another reason why I think it's not cheating is because I actually had to find the slime chunk this right here is a failed slime chunk. I thought that this is a slime chunk, but for some reason I actually entered the wrong seed. So um, as you can see, if I go into F3, I think it says the seed, um, let me see. Uh, I don't think, yes, it says, it says the seed in options or in the menu when you open up the map. And some seeds are negative other seeds are positive and oh yeah there we go we got some big slime chunk spawns and this is a negative seed it, it's with a negative um, but I forgot to put inside the negative so what happened is it gave me the wrong slime chunk reading so I was wondering why there's completely no slime spawning on that chunk over there and apparently I was completely wrong so I had to redo my calculations and because of that I wasted a lot of cobblestone building that platform uh, but all in all I'm pretty proud that I got slimes I'm not planning even though I love making redstone contraptions I don't plan on making any like any big automated slime chunk farms because frankly I don't really need slime I only need slime very rarely occasionally for sticky pistons and also sometimes for potions to make magma uh, magma cream uh, and of course when I I can get magma cream from the magma cubes but it's just much easier to kill blazes from blaze spawners and then craft it in with slime balls to get magma cream for potions of fire resistance and just in case because sometimes when I'm running around in the nether I always have um, I always have like to have a potion of fire resistance on my hotkey because if I accidentally fall down uh, I will have a few seconds to drink the potion and it has saved my life many many times and right here's just the trap door just to um, go down there and it's amazingly down there and pretty scary I don't like jumping down there because I don't want to lose my diamond sword and oh yes many of you are probably saying right now that oh yeah my Kralix you cheated you you basically got diamond sword from the invent uh, from the uh, cre uh, creative inventory but no I actually got um, I actually got the sword from villager trades and I very l much like the new villager trading system because I can now uh, get much more uh, trades. I can now buy lapis lazuli. I don't have much of the villagers, but basically what I did is careful not to let them out because they're pretty scared of zombies. Um, so what I did is basically when I got a zombie villager from right over here. So when I got a zombie villager right here and when I cured him, I I um, basically put a platform down here and I put some powered rail and I put the I put him in a minecart and I built some powered rail right here. This is just to turn off and on because I sometimes need to turn off him like if turn off the rail just in case. Uh, oh, actually no. I actually use these switches right here because I don't want to use redstone um, 
redstone torches because redstone is too expensive for me, so I just craft this using, uh, you know, cobblestone and wood stick. Uh, and then I, it had a little ramp up there which went up there, and I would basically, it would basically fall down there and I would destroy the minecart, and that's how I have all of them in here. And I can, I actually, I got them to breed very little, but it's very hard to get them to breed inside here. So I created a much more industrial breeder right here. Um, I basically got the villagers and I shoved them back in the minecart and I, and right here, this is the end of the track, but it used to continue up to here. And right here is the, um, uh, right here is the lever to switch from which direction to there or to there. And now I'm gonna, going to ride my minecart because I don't feel like, um, like going all the way there and right here is basically my industrial village trading center Um, yeah, so basically, um, this is a very, very industrialized village breeder. I got it from, I got it from a YouTuber. I'm not really sure his name, but it's a very, very amazing YouTuber. Makes amazing tutorials, just simply mind-blowing. So, basically, these three doors, they act as a village, and this villager here registers it. And I go up here. So, um, right here is my villager breeder. It's fairly complex, and as you can see, I have quite a lot of villagers there. And right here's the glass to keep them from um, spinning out of control. Now, I actually, to be honest, I actually kind of forgot how I extract the villagers. What I was going to do is I was actually going to have them... Uh, yeah, and I'm stuck now. What I was actually going to do is have them, like... Oh my god, how did I get out of here? And I think I just ruined my breeder, and oh my god. What is happening here? This is, um, this is really bad. This is so, oh, oh my god. That was so close. Um, yeah, so what I was going to have to have is basically this is the control point here. I was gonna shove them inside of, uh, basically inside of a minecart right here. And what I was going to have is I was going to have an industrial, basically, like here I would have the cells where the villagers would, um, where the villagers would stand so I could come up and trade with them. And uh, so maybe you're asking, well, Minecralix, why did you build it so far away from the from the main island. So the reason I did that is because first of all the villagers would get all scared if they saw a zombie in the vicinity of uh, around two chunks so I had to build it far away and also as you can see like really really far away right there really really far away down there um, I have another villager breeder which is the original breeder and I don't want it to mess up the villager breeding so I needed that right there to be a separate village from this right here because the villagers uh, register the uh, villages so technically speaking there are two villages on this map the villages right here and the villages right there that's at least how they render it but I have been having an amazing amount of technical issues with this breeder. I don't know what is up, but for some reason, whenever I put villagers down there, they just stop wanting to breed. Because for some reason, this, um, this breeder is set up so that the villagers think that there always needs to be more villagers, so they always breed. But if I set some of the villagers down here, what happens is that they think that there's enough villagers, so they stop breeding. It is, it is pretty, it is pretty good, but I would have to add a bunch of doors, because the more doors, uh, how villager mechanics works, uh, is that when there are doors, when there are doors down there, they think that it's a village, and when, when there's too much doors and too little villagers, they're like thinking, oh yeah, well, we need to breed more, so then they breed. But if there is, a, like, very, when there's enough villagers, then they stop breeding. It's basically a ratio of doors to villagers. I'm not really sure the exact stats. It's all in the wiki, but uh, I did research at some of it. But for some reason, whenever I put them down here, it just messes up the breeds. Uh, right here is just simply a channel where I can just um, throw villagers out into the uh, void uh, if I don't like their trades. Um, this is... Uh, a developing project and I and I'm researching it many many times 
I'm going to research it more, and I'm planning to make more Let's Plays how I fix this, because this is going to take up a long time. Right here is just a chest, and right here is just a, just a center, and right here I can switch from here to here, so I'm, if I want to go to the breeder or to the main island. And I think it actually took me quite a long time. Let me see. Uh, no, I don't have any... Yeah, so, um, as you can see, I have, I have some redstone down there with some redstone, uh, with a redstone torch powering it, just because I wanted to make some redstone projects. I don't have much redstone projects, but I still like this map. I am very proud of myself in terms of what I have achieved, because I have achieved quite a lot in all this time, and, yeah, good thing that I can't suffocate in that. Um, so yeah, looks like our trees have grown. Um, so I think this is it for this episode. Maybe in the next episode I will go to the nether and show you the nether fortress because I have, I have actually a base in the nether and I have a lot of things there. So yeah, this is basically my Minecraft Skyblock Island. Oh, oh, oh yes, I forgot to show you this. Sometimes these chickens, they spawn. Um, chicken zombies spawn from time to time, and I managed to get to kill a baby, uh, baby zombie, and get its chicken, and then I managed to, I don't remember how, oh yes, I think using, um, yeah, using wheat, I was able to lead the chicken inside right here, and I'm basically waiting it to spawn more chicken, so there's a one out of eight chance that when I throw an egg, it will spawn another baby chicken. I'm waiting to get a second baby chicken so I can get um, a breeder going, maybe even an, an automatic one, so then I will have meat, feathers, and all that good stuff. Um, I guess that's it for the episode. I haven't posted in a while for Minecraft videos, and sorry about that, because I stopped playing Minecraft for a long time. And, oh yes, I keep on forgetting. Here is probably one of my most greatest achievements in the map. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six deep pool. And I also added glowstone underneath to make it look better. And it took me such, it took me an amazing amount of time to build all of this down here. Because, and I think I sometimes, I almost fell down. But I have a lot of very, very great items in here. I have name tags, some bowls, some even armor. Here's some puffer fish, even some enchanted bows, which are very great um, for the nether, for killing. Oh yeah, and this is from the lake as well. I'm planning to make an automated cobblestone farm, which will be very, very great for making cobblestone. And I'm going to make an automatic fish farm so I can AFK. And then you will not imagine just fishing in Minecraft, it can bring you so much stuff. It is just simply amazing. You can just get so much stuff from fishing. If you just AFK for about 24 hours on a special, although it's going to take a lot of redstone and a lot of comparators, so that means a lot of killing witches, but that's not that hard. So when I get um, an automated fish farm going, I will have so much name tags, I will have so much stuff to trade, I'll have so much fish. I will have so much string, uh, I will have so much armor, it's great for getting armor, you can get you can get almost anything. You just have to go to the wiki and look at the chances of getting these spawns. Um, getting uh, different, like, what's the, what kind of things you can get from fishing. And I guess this is it for this episode, this is Minecralix, and I'm out. See you all in the next video.